Hey guys and welcome to another ST Gaming video and this time we're gonna take a quick peek at Frenetic published and developed by Core Design in 1991. And Core Design did make a couple of good games so yeah this brings hope that this might be decent. Okay let's uh, be optimistic. Never played this one before myself but I do remember seeing reviews for it. And I couldn't find any ad for this one so uh, we're just gonna dive in. I got music and the title screen that is digitized doesn't really look that great to be honest. Also there's a hole in the front of the ship you can see through it. Uh, yeah, This looks a bit rushed but hey the game can still be good so uh, I'm pressing fire all right. Music is a bit busy maybe not amazing but maybe it grows on you like I don't know fungus. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, straight into the game. And we got power-ups, I think. Let's grab stuff. And we have auto fire, that's amazing source. Yeah, this looks uh pretty good. Pretty small screen though. Well yeah, the graphics looks really nice, I must admit. Maybe uh, maybe the ship is a bit large. But oh yeah, look at this. This looks gorgeous. I must say. Sound effects are maybe yeah, maybe not amazing. This weird combination with music and and bullet sounds and whatnot kinda doesn't really work. Okay, work. I wanna happen there. Maybe I touch something I shouldn't. That's usually the case. Yeah, yeah, these graphics looks really, really good. Now, could I get some power-ups, please? That would be super great. I like power-ups, you see. And I don't like games that just nick my power-ups just because I happen to hit a tiny item that kills me. Scrolling is a little bit jerky, I must say, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's all right. And uh, it's getting a little bit repetitive, maybe. Maybe some new enemies, please. <laughs> I'm hard to please today. But yeah, the jungle graphics looks really, really nice, and so does the uh, that canyon graphics, the the mountain graphics. Looks really gorgeous. Also, love the rocks, I must say. But I've been watching them for a couple of minutes, so yeah, I think it's time for something else to happen. Give me that power up baby. Oh that didn't do much. Maybe that was just a mega bomb. Don't know if we have mega bombs. Suppose we should try out the buttons here. Oh I smell a boss. Maybe. Nope. We are still exploring the jungle. Dr. Livingstone I presume. Those ships looks like power ups kind of want to pick them up, but that, that's not a good idea, I think. And it's a little bit hard to see what's going on against the uh, the jungle backdrop here. And I have to say, the game isn't crazy hard so far. I like that. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, the ship is a little bit big, though. I could have... Uh, I would have liked it being a little bit smaller. No, no, go away, go away, don't touch me, you ball of doom. And yeah, this level is getting a little bit stretched out. Could we please just, you know, have some variation here? Maybe a boss, maybe a different enemy, maybe less palm trees, or some power ups, that would be great. Because I haven't seen one in absolutely ages. This thing should give me power ups, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's boss time. I'm just gonna make a snapshot. Yes, I'm a safe scumming bastard. <laughs> oh, I remember this boss. I think I saw screenshots from various reviews of this boss. Looks pretty cool. And I do have a heat seeking missile. Oh man, this is pretty slow. Can I please be allowed to come in here and maybe shoot a little bit? 
Is that thing hostile? Not sure. Oh god, this is really sluggish. Have I got? I'm not sure if I have mega bombs. Okay, that this is bad. This is bad. Can I get away? Yeah, I'm not sure what button to use. Oh man, is that thing exploding? I think it is. Oh, no, 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 no touchy, no touchy. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a little bit sluggish, I must admit, but it's at least it's not stupidly hard, decently manageable. Ah, oh, this is taking a long time. This, at least my homing missile is doing its its job please don't what are you where are you going please make up your mind I think we got another piece of the moon now that looks like a mushroom with some tech add-ons oh it's coming up with new ways of defending itself and did I get it or did I die no I got it Good times! Level 2! Yay! Oh yeah, this looks good! Let's collect all the lovely stuff. I think I missed something, but hey. What are these awful things? Lobby demons from hell, and why am I not moving upwards? There we go. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Reminds me a little bit of, um... Xenon 2, well, and 1 to an extent. Okay. It's a little bit crowded here. Running out of space. But again, I mean, the compared to Xenon 1 and also 2, this is just a lot easier. And I like me. The slightly simpler, or not as, not as difficult shooters. Oh, look, we've seen those before. Those filthy worms that stick their neck out and... Oh, why did I not move out of the way there? And, of course, my power-ups are now all gone. Oh, crud. <laughs> ah, this, this thing. Can we... No, we can't kill it. I'm not going to go near it because it's just going to murder me. I just know it. Stop firing at... Really? I was pretty sure I was out of the way there, but uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> die, die, die! Ah, bullet sponges! Come on, move, 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 move. Okay, this is... Oh, man, that's... You really need to clear the screen of enemies, otherwise... You're going to be dead due to uh, crowding, overcrowding. Die! Come on, die! <laughs> Jeez. These things are super difficult to destroy. It takes so many bullets. Come on, move out of the way! Oh, God, everything is so slow! <laughs> but of course, the most important question is, is this fun to play? Well, I mean... Uh, uh, it's not bad, and it's not really that great either. It gets a little bit boring. I'm not entirely sure why it just feels a little bit lacklustre, even with the gorgeous graphics. It's just like, yes, we've seen this before a million times. And why is... Oh, I can't move. That's actually a wall. That's interesting. I need to go the hole because I was like wondering why am I getting stuck and why can't I move forward sometimes it's because there's an obstacle that's interesting at least and I do like that I don't die when I touch the uh, the environment because that is so damn annoying <laughs> will you please die you wobbly thing and would it kill you to get me a power up I would like that very much. And stop firing 
garbage my way. Power up, please. Is that a power up thing? I think it is. Oh, and of course there's a bullet there. Ah, oh, crap socks. Oh, would you look at that? That looks um interesting. <laughs> Insect-like, of course. That's what I'm thinking of. Nothing else. No dirty thoughts has entered my mind at all at this point. Yeah, I'm ready for something new, please. How about a boss or something? That would be great. Oh, yeah, this is getting uh, pretty repetitive and uh, slightly dull, I must admit. Don't... Don't drown me in bull... Oh, you... I didn't even see what got me there. Presumably a ball, right? Ah, oh, it's a nice game over screen, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna grab the power-ups this time, all of them. Whatever they do. And hopefully we're gonna be able to hold on to them for a bit. While we destroy these... things. I wonder what they are. And I am actually moving faster now, so I presume there is a speed power-up, right? That is good. Die, you ball-spitting bastard! Or bastards, really, there's two of them, really? Why... why am I dying there? I wonder if it's the fact that I get stuck against something and then crushed. So that is what kind of kills me. That's why I can't really figure out what's going on, I just die from, yeah, being completely flattened. Because there are a lot of things that will, yeah, yeah, right, I think this one, this thing here, I can't go through that, so that got me last time, yeah. Ooh, another power-up. Lovely. Now we're back to the, um... Uh, yeah, whatever these things are in the background. <clears throat> yeah, the game is certainly pretty competently done. Although it is a little bit boring. It's not terribly exciting. Certainly not a timeless classic. And certainly not terrible. Oh, there's something. Give it to me. Oh, it's that funky lightning thing. I'm really cleaning up house here with all these power-ups. There's also long moments when there's nothing happening on screen. It's just completely dead. Maybe, maybe it's loading or something. Oh, yeah, it's a boss. Or two, even. Are you gonna murder me if they don't go up here? Please, 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 please. Sneaky octopi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go around them. Ooh! Let's just electrocute them. A little bit. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty slow now. Oh man. I can't see what is going on. It's a lot of bullets. Well, not a lot of them, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit jerky. Wow! And that background is pretty headache inducing. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea maybe to go down here. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up! Oh, I think I got them. Ah, oh, yeah, there's still one alive, though. We need to make squid soup of that, too. Oh, I think I did. Oh, yeah, the game can't quite cope with all the stuff going on here. Oh, it's a more techy looking level. I just grab these power ups just to get some variation. I do like that they do change the color palette around quite a great deal for each level. Makes it more interesting, I guess. And yeah, I've got some pretty beastly power ups here. I'm just murdering everything and anyone that dares try to stop me. But so far, the excitement fails to uh, to happen. It's it is pretty dull, and it's the same handful of enemies that you keep fighting every level. I mean, yeah, they do change between levels, but yeah, some more variation would have helped a great deal. Oh God, I'm not sure how I survived that, but I did. What the hell's that? Oh, God! 
Again, I survived. Not sure how that happened either. Ah, oh, nice uh, 3D effect here. Like that. Oh, I thought my own missile was... Uh, <laughs> was a hostile. So now I'm going to be uh, without power-up for, for about five ages. That's a shame. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had this one before. That's a good variation of uh, power-ups. This one is a bit crap, it seems. I need more explosions. And why am I doing that? Why am I actually just smacking my face against that enemy? Not sure. A weird decision. And what the... Ah, oh, I couldn't go through that. All right, I didn't know. Sorry. So... Avoid the sides? Oh god. Can I just... Yeah, I think I can just... Weasel my way past it. Oh, it's speeding up. Ah, oh, please. I've been shooting balls for what feels like hours on end here. Please. Something else. Would be much... No, please. No more balls. Turret. Please die. I don't like those... Holes to the left there, but nothing happened, so excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna blow you up, alright? If you don't mind, thank you. Let me guess, other side? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, I thought I... Uh, I thought I got that ball, but I didn't. Alright, game over again. Uh, I think I'm done with this one, so let's go and have a look at a couple of reviews before we end, shall we? As the user gave the game an overall of 69% and Julian Boardman wrote, The problem I find is that the huge power-ups and bonuses are trying to cover up the fact that the gameplay is a little lacking. Some of the levels are too long and the alien attack patterns soon become predictable. Good fun for a short while, but not earth-shattering. And yes, for once, SD user wasn't so uh, overly positive about the game, so that's nice to see. SD former was even less excited and gave the game an overall of 51%, and uh, James Leach wrote, Originality? Mind-stretching? Forget such notions. Frenetic is a shoot-em-up, a game of yesteryear. It has medium-slow speed, poor sound and fairly nice graphics. But if you love the genre, you could get into it. The skill levels are set about right, and mechanics such as collision detection work well. But for most people, that won't be nearly enough. Yeah, I think they are kind of barking up the right tree here. The game is definitely not terrible, but it just lacks that little something that makes it interesting. Never really gets to that point where you feel excited about playing it, so uh, a bit of a shame given that some of the visuals were rather nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Frenetic. Thanks for watching and all that stuff, and as always, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!